Now the third tissue system is the vascular tissue system which includes these vascular bundles. These are the vascular bundles. So what is the structure of the vascular bundles? Now we have to discuss in detail. The third system is vascular tissue system. So the vascular bundles, they are mainly of two types, they may be radial or may be conjoint. In radial is the characteristics of roots, while conjoint is characteristic of the stems as well as the leaves. In case of radial type of vascular bundle, suppose this is the root and the xylem and phloem are present in alternate patches. This is the xylem and the phloem is present in between. This is the phloem. This is the phloem and this is the xylem. That means both the xylem and phloem are present in alternate radii. They are present in alternate radii. That means in alternate radii they are present xylem, phloem, xylem, phloem, alternate. This is characteristic of only roots. But in case of a conjunct type of vascular bundle, they are arranged in the same red eye. So <clears throat> they are arranged in the same red eye and this conjunct type is again of different types. It may be collateral, bicollateral or it may be concentric. This may be again of three types. It may be collateral, bicollateral or it may be concentric. The collateral is again of two types. It may be open or it may be closed. That means in case of conjunct type of vascular bundle, both xylem and phloem are present together in one bundle. As I have shown it in this diagram. This is xylem, this is phloem. They are present in the same bundle. So when they are present in, uh, together in the same bundle, that is known as conjunct type. And this conjunct type may be collateral, bicollateral, concentric. And the collateral is again of two types, open and closed. So when we will call it open and when we will call it closed, they are depending upon the presence of uh, the cambium. Again, the example of this uh, open type is uh, dicot stem, and the example of closed type is a monocot stem. Now you see the difference. In case of open type, there is a cambium. This is a cambium. And inner to the cambium, there will be xylem and this is a phloem. This is a xylem and this is phloem. So when cambium is present in between xylem and phloem, it is known as open type of vascular bundle, usually found in case of dicot stem. But in case of monocots, this is monocot, and here you will find that the xylem and phloem, they are not separated by cambium. That means this is closed. This is the basic difference. But what is the, this bicollateral type? In case of bicollateral type, there will be two patches of cambia and two patches of phloem. This is uh, outer cambium. This is inner cambium. 
and in between him inner and outer cambium this is xylem while on either side there will be phloem this is outer phloem and this is inner phloem this is outer phloem and this is inner phloem so usually this type of uh, vascular bonds are found in the members of family cucurbitaceae to which cucurbita belongs so the example is cucurbitaceae and one important thing is the bicolored type of vascular bonds are never closed that means they are always vas the bicolored type vascular bonds are always open because unless there are two patches of cambium we cannot call it a bicolored cell that means the bicolored type vascular bonds are always open there is no, no opening and closing type as found in case of collector type that is not found they are always open so this is common example now we come to the third type the third type is concentric the concentric is again of two types the concentric is again of two types it may be amphicribal amphicribal or hydrocentric and the common example are the ferns the other is a uh, amphivessel or leptocentric and the common example is yuca uh, and another is uh, dracaena these are the two examples now in case of amphicribal or hydrocentric the xylem is uh, present in the center this is the xylem and it is surrounded by phloem this is the phloem so hydrocentric that we say hydro means xylem the xylem is present in the center but in case of uh, amphibesal or leptocentric this is the phloem and this is surrounded by xylem this is xylem that means this is a xylem and this is phloem so when phloem is present in the center amphi vessel or leptocentric characteristics of yuca and dracaena and when the xylem is present in the center and phloem is in the periphery it is known as amphi cribal or hydrocentric and the common example is ferns so with this the tissue system is complete let us discuss some questions so one question xylem and phloem are present in alternate radii in hs dicot leaf b monocot stem c chas dicot stem d chas roots the second question bully form cells are present in a choice cucurbita b choice maize a uh, maize stem cucurbita leaf c choice 
Gracias. D choice. We can take um, another example. Gram. Stem. So all these things we have discussed during our discussion. I hope your idea regarding the tissue system, what is their location, is very much clear to you. Thank you very much for watching it. God bless you. Have a good day.